Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of AP Economics. Today we're going to talk about price ceilings. A price ceiling is a price control that prevents the price from reaching its equilibrium. It's a legal maximum price set by the government. In order for it to be effective, it must be set below the market equilibrium. The goal is to help buyers with low incomes. Now this might sound like a good idea, However, it results in a misallocation of resources where the market ends up with a shortage. That is, the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied. Here we have a market in equilibrium. Supply meets demand at equilibrium P and Q. This is what it looks like when we add a price ceiling in a market. The ceiling is below the equilibrium, and this leads to the quantity demanded exceeding the quantity supplied. So we'll have a shortage. This is the consumer surplus that results from the price ceiling. The original consumer surplus was the area above the price underneath the demand curve. Here we have the producer surplus. The producer surplus as a result of the ceiling is much smaller than the producer surplus before the price ceiling. As a result of the price ceiling and the misallocation of resources, we end up with a loss of efficiency. This inefficiency is known as dead weight loss. That is the purple triangle that you see here. Remember, a price ceiling is a legal maximum price. So in order for it to be effective, it has to be below the equilibrium price. If they put it above the equilibrium price, it would have no effect in the market. The market will just settle at the original equilibrium point. Now price ceilings lead to shortages, a misallocation of resources, and a reduction in product quality. So generally they're pretty bad. It changes our consumer surplus, it changes our producer surplus, and causes the deadweight loss. Well, that wraps up this Noble Review session on price ceilings. In the next video, we'll look at another type of price control, a price floor.